So, the Nintendo Switch is a truly fantastic game console. It has numerous console quality games that can be played on the go, and it's generally a very impressive piece of hardware. But as I found out a few videos ago when I installed Linux on my Switch, the hardware actually has a lot of lost potential that just isn't tapped into when using it as intended. So in today's video, I really want to push the Nintendo Switch to its limits and see if I can make a video on it start to finish using the power of Linux and open source software. Right now, on the Linux Lounge. So indeed, today I set out with the challenge of making a video on my Switch. So the first thing that I did was get a spare SD card and install a Linux image designed just for the Switch onto it. Then I booted it up on my Switch and much like the previous video, I was greeted by Ubuntu Linux working absolutely perfectly. Then unlike the last video, I actually docked my Switch and to my surprise, it actually worked. And I was able to use my monitor with my dock switch and then using the two USB ports on the front of the dock, I connected a keyboard and a mouse before deciding that the two ports weren't enough. So I went ahead and added a USB extension and to my surprise it all worked perfectly. Then I connected a pair of headphones and they worked perfectly too. So with all that done I pretty much had a full desktop PC setup with a switch at the heart of it and I really was on my way to getting work done with this slightly ridiculous setup. So with all that done, the next step to getting my video made once I had everything connected and Linux set up on my Switch was to install the software that I need to get my videos made. And the thing to know about that is that once you boot Linux on the Switch, it's essentially an ARM computer and anything compiled for ARM and in the Ubuntu repositories will run on the Switch. So I went ahead and installed Audacity, Simple Screen Recorder and Caden Live. And to my surprise, all of those programs had ARM builds and they all launched. Although how well they will actually work is yet to be seen. The only program that I like to use that didn't have an ARM version in the Ubuntu 18.04 repositories is Critter. Now maybe there's some other way to get it to work or maybe it's in the repositories of a newer Ubuntu version but I decided that instead of messing around with that I will just install the GNU image manipulation program and it would seem that the GNU image manipulation program works perfectly. Now the first part of making any video on this channel is to start writing the script. And as one might imagine, Office software works absolutely fine on the Switch. LibreOffice actually comes with Ubuntu, so I was able to start using that right out of the box, and it works totally fine even on the Switch. Although that's to be expected since it really is just an ARM computer and LibreOffice is nothing demanding. So I guess if for some reason you want to make and edit documents on a Switch, well, you can do it. It's totally possible. So the next part of creating my videos is recording the script that I wrote out in LibreOffice. And to do that, I use Audacity, which like LibreOffice has an ARM build that works perfectly fine on the Switch. So I went ahead and connected my Blue Snowball microphone to one of the Switch Docs USB ports and it worked perfectly fine. And I was able to record the script that I just wrote out in LibreOffice with no difficulty whatsoever. There weren't any performance hiccups or anything like that. And I really was just able to record and edit my audio as if I was using any other computer. Once I'd recorded my audio it was time to capture some footage. And to do that, I tend to use a simple screen recorder. And as a whole, it seemed to work absolutely fine. I'm sure if I was capturing something that was really pushing the switch, it wouldn't. But for recording just basic tasks, it was perfect and worked fantastically. And with all of that done, it was time to start editing the video. Now, I did a few tests before I started this task, and what I found is, surprise, surprise, the Switch doesn't handle video editing all that well, as one might expect. The two video editors that I looked into using were my usual editing software, Caden Live and OpenShot. I found that in Caden Live, no videos play back smoothly, even with proxy clips enabled. OpenShot doesn't play back videos perfectly either, but with some 720 clips, I tried to play, it seemed very, very nearly perfect, which was really impressive. Finally, for my test, I decided to try and render a video with Caden Live. The video was about a minute and a half long, and it took about two and a half minutes to render, which was better than I was expecting, but certainly makes the Switch not really fit for video editing. However, despite that, I decided to try and use the Switch to edit this video anyway, which if you're seeing this, it means that I struggled through using the Switch for editing and actually managed to finish the video at 1080p, no less. 
And then finally to finish this video off, I went ahead and made a thumbnail in the GNU image manipulation program, which seemed to work absolutely fine on the Switch. The GNU image manipulation program isn't heavy by any means, but it's still really cool to see it running on hardware like this. And once again, if you're seeing this video with a complete thumbnail, that means I was able to do it absolutely fine. And finally, with all of that struggle out of the way, I was done. And I could go ahead and upload my video to YouTube using the Chromium browser that came built into this build of Ubuntu for the Switch. And say that to my knowledge, I am the first person to have made a YouTube video start to finish using a Nintendo Switch. Which is quite a useless accomplishment, but it's still kind of cool to think that a modern game console, a modern portable game console no less, is powerful enough to produce a video start to finish on. Kind of.